students welcome back in this we will learn about plant breeding in which different steps of the plant breeding we are going to learn and we are going to learn one more thing which is SCP single cell protein and I don't want to waste your time again so listen carefully I guess you are much enough you can predict what we are going to learn without introducing plant breeding in SCP SCP is single cell protein we are going to learn in this chapter let's start it plant breeding uh, before studying plant breeding I would like to ask you do you know what is a breeding in animal breeding too I have mentioned this in case of plant in case of botany field of uh, plant breeding is basically the genetic manipulation of, like uh, for the crop improvement the manipulation is done and crop improvement is there so that is a breeding and now the question arises whenever something is done in biology anywhere whenever we are doing something there is a need for doing that what is the objective what is the need of doing that that think over this uh, for improving the crop yield for improving the crop quality just before few lines I have mentioned this that is where the need arises for the plant breeding now the scientist name is there Norman Borlong you must have heard this name Lord Losses very much important and famous scientist he is famous plant breeder and he was from Mexico and he proposed the dwarf variety of the wheat this question can be asked dwarf variety of the wheat and uh, he is father of green revolution Next is M.S. Swaminathan. He is the father of green revolution in India. And M.S. Swaminathan is the person who discovered or who actually formed Sharbati Sanora. Variety of wheat it is. Sharbati Sanora and he is father of Indian uh, green revolution. Now the next thing is crop variety with increased nutritional quality I mean the crop breeding crop manipulation has been done and it has been done for increasing nutritional quality which nutritional quality this uh, this nutritional quality as you can see uh, lysine and tryptophan raise uh, rich maize and high protein rich wheat and then iron fortified rice like enriched with the iron uh, quantity vitamin C rich bitter guard and tomato batua it has been produced iron and uh, calcium rich spinach and batua again and vitamin A rich carrot spinach and pumpkin it has been produced the thing I'm telling you this is the result which has been uh, done which has been like it is done and it, this is the uh, quality which has been improved and yes we are using it next thing is trait that breeders if I am a plant breeder I am going to do the breeding in the plant then I would like to incorporate these qualities into the crop first thing is high yield better quality of produce now you may say that this is the objective need question I was asking you can you why there sorry why there is a need for uh, for improving the plant uh, crop qu uh, quality why there is a need of plant breeding this is the answer for that increase tolerance to environmental condition and then uh, environmental uh, condition yes and then resistance to pathogen as like some pathogen is there some infectious agent is there so the crop it should be enough resistant and then increased tolerance to insect pest so these are the needs now I am going to start the plant breeding and I must be following certain steps the plant breeding it has done in specific steps 